What's up everyone, Garrett here from Cable Web, and in this video, or this new series I guess I should say, uh, we're going to do a, some tutorials on all of the uh, web design trends that we talked about in the videos about a month ago. Uh, it was actually suggested to me that I do tutorials on all those trends, so I thought it would be a really cool idea if instead of doing individual videos, um, I did a series and actually built a website with using all these trends. Um, so we're going to use all the videos and all the trends. Some trends, uh, although we will use all of them, some will be used more than others just because of the type of website that it is. Uh, it's going to be kind of simple, similar to the portfolio website that we did, but a little different. Um, and, and yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is head on over to uh, our YouTube channel here and get an official list. I don't remember, I think it was six videos, I don't remember all of them. Um, so the first thing, uh, background video, a ghost button, graphical representation, minimalist design, social media integration, and Google's material design. Now those are the, that's like the one thing kind of that I'm gonna implement as best I can. I don't necessarily know how much we'll be able to implement it with material design just because um, that's really, really good for blogs, which this website will not be, and it's really good for just, in my opinion, more complex websites. And also, um, I think the background video, the background video trend, would look a little weird with that. Uh, maybe not. No, nah, maybe this will work. Possibly. Well, all right. Let's just go set it and we'll find out. So, in this video, uh, we're just gonna be making um, the, the, the HTML syntax. Uh, nothing fancy, we're gonna get into the CSS and all that crazy stuff later. So let's just start out with the HTML syntax. So we got the body, this is our basic HTML page and I'm not gonna go over this because I've, I've done that before in the other videos. Um, let's clean that up a little bit. So just go over it really quick, we have the HTML, uh, which is, oh wait, I was actually right before it, that's why. So we have the HTML declaring this is an HTML page right there. Then we have our head section, which has the title, the meta tags for the viewport and the scale and whatnot, um, and the character set, and then it's linking us to um, our fav icon, which I don't think we have one on now, and to the CSS page. And then this is the body. The body is just everything you're going to see on the website, of course. So uh, let's see, let's think. So we're going to have a big uh, image right here, except it's not just going to be an image, it's going to be a video. So we're going to make, we're going to do, make that the, just the body background, I think. And this is all subject to change, um, because when we actually get to the background video and video, uh, we might want decide that we want to do it a little bit differently, so we might change up some of the HTML code, but for now this is how it's going to be. So we're going to have the background of the body is going to be the HTML video, so we don't have to do anything there just yet. Then we're going to have a div, and that's going to be called the class uh, container. And we're just going to call the dev after that. Now everything else is going to go inside here. So um, we're going to need, we're going to need um, some, basically let's just have some text that we'll put in the center. Uh, we'll say h1, and we'll call it title, pretty similar to what we did in the previous uh, portfolio series, trade and portfolio, and we're going to make this just um, web design trend 2015, of course. that we're going to say h2 and the class will be um, subtitle subtitle and we will call this or it will say um, cable web code the which code the web Trend, web design trend, web design trend for 2015. That's the way that looks. Looks cool. Um, we're going to 
find a font later because it's not that great. That'll be the message style everything. Um, and that's going to be it for, for this, actually. And then under, that's not for this. Uh, this is going to be uh, a div, no, a doc, a div. And we'll call this one just the slide first. <coughs> uh, this first thing that you see is just going to be a few images and a handle of video. I think they're going to be able to scroll down and get to the rest of what they're doing here. So um, we shall call this one just hero. Then, below this, we're going to say div, uh, what are we going to have? Let's have, so, let's have a sidebar, and then we'll have, uh, just like, some text or something going along there. So it's not quite like what we did before. But it's not not like what we did before, I guess, right? So it's a little bit different. Um, so instead of having like a grid with uh, with our portfolio, we're gonna have instead we're gonna have two columns. So we're gonna have a left column, which is gonna be our big one. So we're gonna call this slash uh, content or main. You know, we'll call it main like always. And then underneath this, we're gonna call this one div. Here we're just gonna have. Uh, I don't really want it to be like a blog post because we're not really making a blog here, but we could. We of course could. So since we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna have a paragraph, and the paragraph is just gonna be some lorem that we're gonna find somewhere. Uh, we will find that at this site here. We're just gonna look up lorem. Get I don't have to go to the thing that I have. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. And do this. Load. Okay, cool. So we have that, that's gonna be our main, and then our second is gonna be uh, not like widgets, but kind of like widgets, if that makes sense. So like they're not gonna be like interactive things. Yeah, they will be widgets. We're not going to be like interactive things that kind of do stuff that we're going to put in like the social, our social media integration, for example, back to right here, um, uh, and some like information other than, you know, just this content in the center, though there may be like an, uh, a separate menu, something like that. Um, so, so yeah, so we're going to do that. And this class will be, we'll just call it widget, just for lack of a better term, we'll call it widget1, widget-1, like right off the word one. And then we'll say, uh, paragraph, we'll do widget1. And then we're just going to copy and paste this. And uh, we'll hit some DLs there, some breaks. And then widget two, and then we'll have four. And then we can do another one. We shall call this widget three. Widget three. See how that works. doesn't look anything like it's going to look when we're done, but it kind of looks like what we want it to look like right now. So, um, and then I guess we can have a footer here, uh, and we'll have a footer. This will 
the uh, we're not really going to have any other pages, so there's no more room for a nav bar. So we're just going to say copyright or no, we'll just say copyright. We're going to do uh, just trade the we'll just do it several times. Trade the web. Web. Good, and that'll be it. So in the next video, what we're going to do is start doing what we're trying to do. And we're going to have to kind of go strategically. We're not just going to be able to do background video, ghost button, so on and so forth. Um, actually, in the next video, we're probably going to align everything and then start getting to the next video. So, yeah, we got a little bit to do ahead of ourselves. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you did enjoy this video, which I know it really wasn't that eventful, but we're going to be getting to the eventful stuff in the next video and then the videos after that. Um, definitely subscribe, comment, rate, all that good stuff. Follow Code the Web on Twitter and Facebook for more cool Code the Web stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.